Hello everyone, welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play video. This is episode 9 in our Let's Play series. We're getting far along. Uh, in the last episode, we built that wool factory you see behind us there. And we did some auto farms, which have been working very well. So I'm going to go show you and I'm going to go check out this, uh, this auto farm over here. It's actually been working really good. And what I like about what we're doing here is that We've got all of our auto farms here, so while I'm doing my build projects, they're all running, getting me all these materials. So we've, oh wow, that's a lot. So we've got about three stacks of each kind of wool, which is really good for some upcoming projects. Obviously, we're building in a steampunk style, so we're going to need some airships. But that's not for today. For today, we're going to be building a storage room, which, as you can see right there, is going to go right there. I've been doing some work in between the episodes on the pathways the layouts and the wall and, but yeah that's gonna be our storage room and before we do that we're gonna build a passive mob farm so that's for animals like cows pigs sheep horses a mob farm for those because we need so much leather for item frames which are gonna be our labeling for our chests so I'm gonna show you guys what this storage room is gonna look like and then we're gonna get building the passive mob farm all right so right here you can see this is the storage room i think it looks pretty cool it's using a color we haven't really or a block i have, i've never actually used before in any of my builds like for survival is uh red sandstone which is actually pretty cool also a little bit of dripstone i'm not too sure about the dripstone maybe i'll keep it maybe i won't depend we've got some copper tanks and if you want to see in here every single item that i will ever need to store has a double chest all colors of wool concrete glass colors don't get their own thing ores minerals loot uh blocks wood uh stones uh fences animals stuff logs uh food nature stuff moss and then over here we have some spots for stuff from the end uh over here we have guest storage which they have to pay five diamonds for a chest i might lower that price but if the guests that join our world want some storage and they don't want to build their own they can come here and rent out some space so yeah let's get back to the world and get the materials for that passive mob farm all right so i've got all the materials i'm oh man all right so i've got all the materials I'm gonna need uh, we're gonna build it right here in this area so let's get started Alright, so there we go, uh, that's all built, I tested it out for a while, it was about 2 hours and I got a bit of stack, almost 2 of leather, which is pretty good. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna fix obviously this up in the future, uh, once we get an elytra from the end, we're gonna build a whole bunch of just kinda like almost floating, floating domes for most of our floating auto farms like that and we'll just fly up to them they won't be connected to the ground so they'll look actually pretty good but let's turn our attention to the next uh business of the episode which is the storage room which for that we're gonna need red sandstone which we're gonna need to go to a mesa for so i'm gonna go find one of those in the nether and i'll make another portal there and then i'll be back Alright, so I got through the nether to this mesa. This mesa is so far away from our base. Took a while to get there. Thrown out nether hack. But yeah, let's get digging. This red sand on the ground is all we need. I'm going to try and get a full inventory's worth. I'm going to empty some of this loot out, obviously. But yeah, let's go.
Alright, so now we've got all this red sandstone, but we don't have a super smelter. The best we have is back here, just these eight furnaces. So, why don't we build one? <laughs> We're going to need one for a lot of our projects, and a lot of good materials all require smelting. So, I'm going to build this new state-of-the-art super smelter right here. All right, there is our super smelter. Look at that, it looks pretty nice actually. It's right beside the mine here. I'm gonna connect some pipes from the mine to it. So pretty much how it works is you put all your fuel up here. So I've already put some in, it's already unloading. So you put it in that chest and then you put, oh, wrong one, I wanna click the micro chest. You put all your items that you wanna smelt right in there. And then once all that fuel is done, we will flick the lever and send it off. Now this super smelter was designed by uh, 1UP MC, link in the description uh, to that video. It's a Minecraft Bedrock 1.20 super smelter. Um, just quickly while that's draining, this video is being recorded before we even know the release date for 1.21. So I'm not sure if this video will be out before or after that update comes out. I will have a video out that week once uh once the update comes out on all the new features but yeah let's click this and then our stuff should immediately start showing up just wait and see so yeah i should have an update video that probably about five days maybe after the update comes out on every new feature in the update i'll go over all that but look at that look at how fast that's coming in We've already got a half a stack and we just put it in like two seconds ago. That's crazy. This is awesome. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go get the, uh, the rest of the materials for that massive project right there. <laughs> and then I'll be back. Alright, so quick detour. 1.21 has released now. And uh, I'm just going to be digging down to a trial chamber here. I wanted to see some of the new blocks. I have the coordinates should be right below us. I'm not sure how deep. I don't know how deep they usually spawn or where they spawn. I haven't really looked into this update too much. I don't know what. All I know is there's trial chambers and a bunch of new blocks. But hopefully we'll find it soon. Oh. Oh, oh wow. That was fast. Oh, look at this. This is all copper. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine if I mined out one of these? Why is there just random chests? Can you imagine if I mined out, like, a trial chamber? How much copper? I should do that, actually. That's a good idea. I should mine out a, uh, a trial chamber. How big are these? Like, it seems like a pretty big structure, but from what I've seen, it goes on for quite a while after this. I don't know what... Is this like a weird maze puzzle thing? And these are the... Whoa! Those are the new vaults. So you unlock them with trial keys that you get from beating the trial chamber. Alright, here's a stereo... This looks very reminiscent of the end stronghold, which, speaking of which, we gotta beat the ender dragon to. Chiseled copper. This is gonna... These blocks are gonna be so good. For our steampunk theme, like we we're gonna use all of these. This place is massive. Oh, do you hear the noises that these grates make? Oh, that's crazy. Oh, this is so cool. I haven't been in one of these actually. I haven't even done the experimental snapshots. And there's items in the pots. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. There's like an emerald in each pot. Oh. There's a pottery shirt. Guster. What does that mean? And then there's flow. I think... Yeah, there's another guster. Another guster. Oh, look at this. And there's like... Wait. Does this like indicate like what the spawner does? I don't know. I, I don't really know too much about these. Oh, there's like so many of them. Can you imagine if you came in here and like we're actually gonna do this? Like the crazy amount of like mobs that would spawn. That's crazy.
crazy. All right, so here's a uh, here's a random chest. I think they, that's like almost like they give you like a checkpoint to store your items in. Okay, there's an arrow, some iron. All right, here's some here's some more cool stuff. Barrel. No way! This is the weirdest loot table I've seen. Ender pearls and bamboo. Huh. Stone axe. This place is massive. I don't even know if I'm gonna like. I'm gonna miss stuff while I'm going through here. So from what I've seen, these like unbranded pots kind of just give you one of each mineral plus a bunch of bricks, which that's gonna be really useful for some builds because usually we make our chimneys out of bricks. So I think that's everything in this room. This thing looks awesome. This room too with the water here looks really cool. Alright, here's what does this do? Oh, 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 oh. It just makes a fountain. Okay. Um That's that's great, I guess. What's in this one? Oh, I think this is one of the new mobs. The breeze. It's like a it's like just wind and it like blasts wind at you. That's cool. I gotta try one of those. Maybe try and get the mace. What if I just... What if I did that one? Broke all... I think you can break all the other ones in the room. And then just do that one. Whoa! And a dungeon spawned inside. Like a, a, one of the original. Whoa, that's... This has gotta be rare. That's gotta be rare. And other side in a dungeon? I didn't know you could get that. Yeah, that's gotta be a rare spawn right there. Alright, well I guess we go up this water elevator we've created. And the new copper bulbs here. These look really cool as well. So I think this is the end of this room. Or is it? Maybe we gotta do some parkour right there. Is there more? In here? No, just a lot of these like vaults. They make weird noises too. What's down here? There's gotta be, there's gotta be some more because I've heard the, a diamond, a cake, and a block of iron. This, this place has the weirdest loot. And oh, secret rooms, behind walls. That's cool. Um, oh, in here we didn't go in here. This level goes down far. Oh my goodness! Ah, massive spiral staircase. What is this? What is this room? This has got to be one of the weirdest rooms ever. Alright, well I think that's it. I'm going to head back to the base now. That was very, uh, very cool. I'm going to try and mine some of these blocks too. Alright, so I'm back at, uh, I'm back at my base now. Um, I got a few of these wind charges right here. These are pretty cool. They're like jump boosts. Watch this. Eh. I think it's like, you have to like... Whoa! Yeah, you have to time it right. But yeah, then it sends you flying, so I can go right here and just jump up. No more going around, just go over it. But yeah, I got those. Another cool thing, if you can see in the top left corner, is the days counter now. So now, Bedrock has a days counter. I think we also have hardcore mode uh, added to. Either it was added or it's an experimental feature right now, but they're adding it. So yeah, 100 days bedrock YouTubers, here we come. Um, so yeah, now I, I thought I, w I would have more days than that. It's only 45 days, and that's not even 45 24 hour days. That's 45 10 minute Minecraft days. So that's only 450 minutes I've ever played this world, which sounds like a lot, but it's really not, which is kind of crazy to me. I feel like all this building took me a lot longer than that. I don't know why it says 45 days, but yeah, anyways, I'm gonna get back to resource gathering so we can get this video done and out on time and uh, finish that storage room, so yeah. Alright, so I've got a uh, couple more materials now, so let's hurry up and build this massive storage room, and then at the end of the video, we're gonna move all of our stuff into this building, so let's hit it.
All right, so we have our big storage room town hall kind of building done. You'll see it's a little bit different than the one in the test world. I made some, I'd say, improvements to it. So, a couple of them, the copper, uh, I don't really know what they are, just steam pipes almost, are fully oxidized rather than being the orangey copper color. I thought it contrasted a little bit better. I really like it. Another change I made was there's no metal banding around the outside. It's just mud. And then the final change that I did to the design was I switched the texturing materials to number one. But number two, I switched these front windows to be massive, like floor-to-ceiling windows, Then rather than being segmented. I thought it looked better. I think it looks really good. Obviously, on the inside, I haven't uh, built the interior. It's looking very lacking in here. But I'll build that in between episodes because this episode is taking too long to do. And it's not going to be out on time if I do the interior. But yeah. So, that's that. Another thing I did was on those smokestacks. You can see on the top, there's the new copper grate item. It kind of looks like mesh. So I thought it was cool that I put that up there and that the smoke's coming out. So, while the sun's setting, thank you for watching this, uh, this episode. In the next episode, we're going to be doing something really cool <laughs> dragon um and yeah thanks for watching have a good rest of your morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching this please like and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one bye